I want to start with your pick you made over at the board. It's very interesting. So you played both the Patriots and the Rams this season. You're taking L.A. to win the game. Please tell us why. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I know, Brad likes I, it. I know I'm going to take a little heat for it, but uh, no, you know, I think, I think the way their D-line is playing, uh, you know, the, the offensive uh, play caller is, is unbelievable, and, and they have just so many weapons and, and talent. I mean, they didn't even use Todd Gurley in last week's, uh, two weeks ago a game in the mm -hmm. NFC Championship, so uh, if they can get him healthy and, and playing at a high level, I mean, it, I think it's just going to be really tough to, to stop that offense, and then with their defense playing the way they are, I mean, uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a win for the Rams. Athlete eyeball test. Do you think Gurley was healthy in the last game? Whether or not two weeks gives him enough time to get healthy. Was that Todd Gurley you saw? Well, I, I mean, I, I, he must not have been. I mean, why wouldn't he be playing? It, doesn't, it wouldn't make sense to me. I mean, the whole game I'm thinking, why isn't he out there? I mean, he's got to be hurt. I mean, there's, there's no other explanation. He's a great guy. He's a great locker room guy. I know him, I know him personally. And, and uh, it would definitely wasn't anything to, uh, for you know, them to suspend him or something like that. So it had to have been injury. I'll get to my Super Bowl question in a second, but I, I just want to make a statement. I think that you should ask to be traded from the Vikings, or I think the <laughs> Vikings franchise should be, they should be removed from that city. Do y'all know how cold it is in Minnesota? <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> minus, it's in right my, right minus 50. Yeah. I don't give a damn that you're playing in He's the dome. He's from Minnesota. Yeah, listen, I know Hometown that Minnesota hero. State, listen, listen, how do you do it? How do you do <laughs> That's it? That's a good point. I, I really don't know. It's, it's, it's uh, weeks like this that you're like, why do I live in Minnesota? Yeah. It, it doesn't even make sense. I, I think uh, it's cruel to children. I think yeah. it's cruel to children there. Yeah. It's unbelievable. No kidding. No it's kidding. unbelievably yeah. cold there. <laughs> anyway, let me, get, let me get back to the Super Bowl here. So, you pick the Rams over the Patriots, and I guess that how come experience or lack thereof doesn't factor into the equation for you? Most people that will look at the Patriots, they'll think about Belichick against Jared Goff, a third-year quarterback. Belichick against a young stud like Sean McVay and the brilliance of Sean McVay, but still relatively young against Belichick. Brady, his experience against that defense, even though Aaron Donald and those boys can ball, still in all. They haven't been the greatest defense this right. year. How come that didn't factor into your decision? No, it definitely factored, and I think that's why it was a tough, a tough pick. I mean, I think it's going to be a great football game. I think it's going to come down to the wire. Um, and like I said, I think you, know, you could probably go both ways. I mean, you could pick both teams just because of that, that factor. I mean, it's a lot of experience in that field, and experience is huge in the game of football, well, any, any sport. Let me throw this out to all three of y'all. Has anybody taken the moment to contemplate that if we're going to assume the Patriots are going to lose this Super Bowl, we're saying that Tom Brady and Bill Belichick are going to lose back to back Super Bowls. Has anybody thought about that? Yeah, no, that's a good point. I, I, I think, I think, uh, I think they want us to pick uh, the Rams. I mean, they don't they, lose they back to back that. games, no. let alone back to back yeah, Super Bowls. Except that even keep rewinding the clock, they could have, they should have lost to the Falcons. Oh. They should have. That, that was not an issue. That was not an issue of the Patriots winning the game. That all they have to do is run the ball, and they are what, like 90% likely but to win the game? But they did have a 25-point lead. Right, but you don't take a sack for a 15-yard loss when you're in field goal. Like, that just can't happen. The, the Patriots, and also, they probably should have lost to Seattle. Like, you know, all of their Super Bowls could have gone either way. But, but that's the Patriots. They don't, they, don't, they don't lose games themselves. Yeah. They, 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 they play the game that, that, yes, you, absolutely. They and, and they make fewer that's mistakes. That's why they're so tough, yeah. to, it's tough to beat, because they don't make mistakes. They don't, they don't give you that? opportunities. Why is that? What do you think is the primary reason that they rely also on the mistakes the other team makes and they make fewer? I think, I think they're just accountable. They're, they're accountable across the board, um, whether that be the coaching staff, the players, the leaders. Everybody's held accountable. If you make mistakes, you're not going to play. And, and, and you're going to lose playing time. So um, they just have a really good thing going on there, and, and that's why they've been so successful. One other question about the defense, because I was looking up your numbers in these games. You actually had 135 yards against the Rams in a TD, but the Patriots held you to 28 yards in a, in a TD. So how underrated is that New England defense? Yeah, thanks for reminding me. That was a tough one. Uh, <laughs> he scored it both. Come well, on. Belichick takes away your number that's, one thing yeah. you want to do. That's him. And that's the toughest part about that defense is, is they, they're just going to take away. They're going to take away something. Whatever yep. your offense does really well, they're going to take you away. Okay. I mean, the entire game, there was a guy outside of me. There was a guy inside of mm -hmm. me. Um, it was just really tough. And, uh, and, and that's what they want. They want you to get frustrated. I got frustrated in that game. And, and that's what they want. They want guys to get frustrated and not be on top of their game. Let me get away from the Super Bowl for a second here. You know, last 
this year, the Minnesota Vikings win the NFC Championship game. Mm. I was there in Philadelphia, Lincoln Financial Field. Rough night for y'all, but yeah. still in all, you had a good season. Okay, what thanks for reminding me. The, the, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> this year, this year, y'all don't make the playoffs. I'm looking at a defense that was a top 10 defense, if not a top five overall, and yards allowed, definitely formidable against the pass. Little suspect against the run at 14, but that's neither here nor there. Clearly, with you being a 1,300-plus yard receiver, with Stephon Diggs being a 1,200-plus yard receiver, and Kirk Cousins as your quarterback, I, I, how the hell did y'all not make the playoffs? That's a great question. I, I, that's, that's probably the most frustrating thing about this year. You come off that NFC Championship game, uh, you get that close to going to the Super Bowl and you don't make it. Uh, you kind of have that weighing on you the whole offseason. Man, we got to get back there. We got we to gotta do the little things to get back there. And then you don't even make the playoffs. It's, it's tough. It, and you, you kind of, the first thing you do is you look at yourself. What could have I done more? What could have I done better uh, to help this game or help this team win games? What was I doing differently this year than last year? And, okay. Uh, hey, real you, quick, you and do you that. wish that your name got, like when people talk about the best receivers in the league, your name, I think also DeAndre Hopkins is another guy who fits this category. People always say, hey, you can't forget about, a couple years ago that was A.J. Green. You also have to mention, yeah. do, do, do you, is that a great compliment to you, or do you wish you were one of the guys that they didn't have to say you also have to mention about? Yeah, honestly, I, I don't even think about it. Uh, I'm just trying to play play football. I'm trying to uh, you know be the best player I can be. And I think when you start thinking about those things is when you don't play your best football. So I'm just going back to the drawing board, try to get better.